Phishing has become a very common way for hackers to gain your identity. What we'll do is we'll take a look at what phishing is, reasons for successful phishing, some of the phishing methods, the process of phishing, types of phishing attacks, and anti-phishing tools. First off, we need to understand what phishing is. Basically, if you've ever received an email that claims to be from a bank or a credit card company or anything along those lines, phishing is the process of that being a fake email and redirecting you to a site where you give your login information. With that login information being captured, they can log into your legitimate account and manipulate whatever information is there. The reason that phishing is successful is, first off, the lack of knowledge. Many people, no matter how they've been warned, will believe an email as though it is authentic. The other is the visual deception. We've already seen how easy it is to make a duplicate of a website. Because of the way that phishing works, and someone sees what looks like a legitimate site, makes it very easy for a hacker to manipulate you or trick you into giving your authentication information. Some of the other indicators include not paying attention to the security items. For example, looking for the exact name match in the URL, or looking for the lock in the corner of your screen. The most common method for phishing involves email and spam, where someone sends out an email that claims to be from some organization and then redirects you to their bogus server. We can use web-based delivery, or we can even use IRC and instant messaging, such as sending someone an instant message that says their Hotmail account needs to have a, their password.